Our next distinguished speaker doesn't need any introduction. Omi Kordestani, a.k.a. Mr. Google. Omid says, in an interview I did with him about a year ago, that staying relevant keeps him up at night. Well, it's no wonder then that his business model for Google single-handedly has not only redefined what it means to be relevant in this day and age, but he has changed the world in which we all live in. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the biggest stars in our community, all the way from London, Special thanks and uh, greetings to the mothers, of course. Uh, I really want to thank uh, the PI organization as well as all the wonderful uh, attendees uh, in the audience today, the incredible speakers that uh, I'm following and uh, I listen intently to every word they said. And the good news for all of you who are embarking on, the, uh, on your careers and uh, looking for that torch to be passed on to you, I think a lot of the messages actually hopefully will come together as uh, I try to um, address some of the comments I heard from the previous speakers as well as add my own. Uh, I talked to Rudy about how should I talk today and, and uh, where do I start because some of you have seen this video on YouTube that uh, was uh, captured during my, my talk at uh, San Jose State uh, University commencement speech. And uh, she told me that I should speak from my heart. Is that right, Rudy? And uh, which is a dangerous thing. So I uh, <laughs> plan to... Uh, be uh, very personal with this conversation, and uh, I actually thought of a theme for my talk and decided to call it Life is Messy, uh, Take the Lead. And uh, I'll explain what I mean by that after I describe a situation I was facing two years ago. So at the peak of my success, fame and fortune, uh, about two years ago I found myself in the uh, office of a psychologist in San Francisco, a wonderful lady who was um, helping me to basically unknot some of the complications that had appeared in my life. Uh, I was asking her, shouldn't I be happy with all of that I've accomplished? Uh, is this a midlife crisis I'm going through? Uh, I believe that marriage is forever. How come I'm in the middle of a divorce? Uh, then I check all the boxes in life and did all the right things and took all the right steps. And uh, those were some of the questions that were really burning for me and uh, and uh, this last two years has been an incredible, incredible transformation and realization. As Moz uh, so brilliantly captures and presents the various characteristics and idiosyncrasies of uh, us Iranians, Iranian Americans, perhaps there is one that can add to his list, which is uh, we tend to pursue beauty and perfection uh, in life to a fault. Uh, we it seems to me that we tend to operate according to this Persian life manual and that uh, there are all kinds of right things to do on there. The right school to go to, the right degrees uh, to go after, uh, perfect nose and hair. <laughs> <laughs> and since I'm in LA, maybe I can make some cheekbones and teeth and other good things. Uh, the most fashionable clothes, uh, not just the right partner to marry, but the right family to get into, and all the right backgrounds. So. I came up with this theme of life is messy because uh, it is messy and checklists go out the window when life surprises you. Uh, it throws you upside down, side to side, perhaps on your face or on your back, and none of that is on the checklist or in this life manual that we think we have. And I would like to share with you some of the principles that uh, I have uh, come up with as I have uh, gone through my professional life as well as personal life and, and some of the learnings that I think will hopefully be, be useful to you. So here we go. The first insight. I think a lot of you asked this question from the previous speakers and the previous speakers addressed this as well, which is, uh, uh, you know, how do I decide who I want to be or where do I start? And I think I really recommend that the first starting point should be to have the most audacious mission and vision for your life. And really not limiting yourself with that mission, because your life, as 
previous speakers talked about is, is this, you know, starts, especially if you're just coming out of school, as a very simple foundation. And that uh, you are in command of building that life. You know, I was born in a very loving, normal, middle-class family in Tehran. Uh, a father who was an engineer and a mother who was a hard-working nurse. Uh, I was a, quite an introvert boy. I was uh, better at listening and observing than being out there and being active. Uh, but inside me, I had always this dream of leading and having impact on people. Uh, my heroes were, you know, when I would listen to music, were rock, rock star stars, you know, rock stars. You see Andy there, I believe. There he is. <laughs> I love your music. <laughs> I uh, fantasized about being a medical doctor. Um, this was certainly inspiring today. Uh, and bottom line is I looked up to people who had impact on other people's lives. And um, again, my recommendation is when you think about your life and what you want to be, even if you're in the middle of your life and you want to change it, is to have this kind of, don't limit yourself, have this audacious vision for yourself. I never imagined I'll be leading thousands of employees and part of this incredible revolution, information revolution as part of Netscape Corporation and later on Google which really transformed the way people interact and communicate, the way commerce is done. So you can't come up with that early on. But what you can come up with, and I think what I was looking for, is that you know I want to be part of something great. I want to lead, I want to have impact. And, and I think that's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about this, this incredible mission you should think about. Do not think small. Do not allow yourself to compromise. Uh, do not ever think a good enough job is all you should be satisfied with, uh, or a good enough education is enough, or a good enough personal relationship or partner's life is something that's going to last. Uh, it's also important to, I think, to know what you don't want to be. Uh, uh, you'll have a sense of things when you experience life. Right? I think uh, 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 Firuz said it very nicely about his career at JPL and uh, how he's, he's proud of the 30-year span of it. Is that 30 years? And, uh, you know, when I was at HP, though, I knew I'm not that kind of a person that to be in one company. So uh, I knew I don't want to stay that long, and that led me to then change my career and get, a, get an MBA. Uh, when I wanted to go to get my MBA, I decided there's only one school I want to go to, and that was Stanford. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, again, that's the way I set, uh, set my mission for ourselves. And that's the way, by the way, we started Google. We decided that our mission should be very, very broad. It's to organize the world's information. And that's a pretty audacious goal. And that's uh, what I want to leave with you on this first principle. Be, be audacious, have huge vision, and uh, you will find your way. Uh, second insight, surround yourself with high quality, diverse people and keep them in your, in your life. Do not waste time with people or friendships or relationships or mentors that really do not add value to you or you don't learn something from. Uh, I've had in my, in my personal life the benefit of uh, many such uh, examples and I will highlight a few of them. I, I went to school in Andy Shea in Iran. Any Andy Shea boys? Or boys? <laughs> and uh, I laugh the most when I'm with those friends and I forget how time passes when I spend with them, and I'm lucky enough that my core close friends and groups, I found them uh, around the world. One of them is Babak Ruvi, where's Babak? Uh, our Paya founder here. And, uh, and, uh, and these are the kind of people, again, you, you do not want to ever lose touch with, and you need to surround yourself with. Uh, my brother, Lafo, is in the audience. I have a German cousin, believe it or not, Attila. Uh, family gives me this incredible foundation and stability. Girlfriends and boyfriends and partners. Uh, my first girlfriend in college, you know, made my eyes open to the fact that this country, San Francisco, could be my home. Uh, I was in undergraduate school, barely scraping by financially, with my mother working hard as a nurse in San Jose. And uh, our focus was that I have to finish education so that I can pay the bills. And there was one month left to go, and uh, I couldn't make it. Well, we couldn't make it. My mom couldn't make it. And there's a dear friend, Nasser Haikali, who I believe lives in, uh, uh, in, uh, in this area, a Jewish friend of mine, who uh, lent me money and actually made it possible for me to finish school and for us to keep our house. And uh, it was incredible. <laughs> 